Our current install process looks like this. We move each pallet with the forklift two to three times, once to take it off the truck and organize it into groups, a second to move it close to the install area where you're gonna set out beds. Then we lift each bed section about twice, once to lift it off the pallet and place on the floor because we've already labeled the entire floor with where every bed section and mark number goes, and then a second time to go back while building and pick it up off the floor and set it onto a scissor cart. Right now it's a slow two-man process to take the beds off the pallets. Usually I have one person on a forklift driving around and then a second person rigging up the beds. It's annoying, slow, and difficult to keep jumping on and off of a forklift so it doesn't work out well to make it a one-person job. But I'd like to make a machine that makes both setting beds out on the floor and picking them up to build into a one-man job. I think we can do this by making a battery-powered lift that moves around quickly like an electric pallet jack and has a mast on it so you can pick beds up and also make your rigging devices so that you can quickly rig up beds within seconds. Never having to get off the machine so that you can just stand on the machine and go from operating the lift to rigging up the bed. The idea I have now, I sketched up a rough idea on Fusion 360, which has come after making some other gantry crane type lifts that didn't work very well and I learned some lessons from those. And then after those homemade gantry cranes, I used a crown wave as a sort of proof of concept, modified it, but it was still a two person job, one operating the lift and one rigging up. Some things I learned that we should have as features on this lift, it needs to be quick so that we don't get frustrated and end up wanting to lift beds by hand or go back to the forklift. If one person can't use it within seconds to both rig up a bed and to lift and to drop it off quickly, then it'll be frustrating and not used. This max speed should be something like nine miles per hour, similar to an electric pallet jack with potentiometer adjustable controls. Should have a low platform, maybe four inches or lower. So it's just a matter of stepping on and off the machine rather than going on a forklift, sitting down, standing up, sitting down, standing up. I'd like the pick point to be over the footprint of the wheels so that it doesn't have to be a counterbalance lift, so then it will be lighter and it can be transported on a transit or a pickup truck all up and down the East Coast. The Crown Wave was 1,200 pounds. I think 1,500 pounds is a good goal, give or take. There needs to be an unobstructed path between the operator when he's using his controls and the very front of the lift where he's going to be rigging up the bed sections. He doesn't have to get off the lift to rig, all he has to do is let go of the controls and start rigging up the bed. It would be great if you had foot controls so you could drive up to a pallet and your hands are already free and you're already grabbing your hooks to rig up the bed. I'm not sure if you need the drive system to be foot operated or just the hydraulic mass up and down to be foot operated. Might be a learning thing there to decide which one works best. All your rigging hooks, which I've already made three or four different types, would each have to attach to the bed within fractions of a second. There are many different frame types, so you'd have different rigging attachments depending on which make or model of conveyor you're installing. I've considered making the whole system 24 volt DC just because the Crown Wave was operated off of four six volt batteries and I thought if I was going to make another rendition where I ripped off that hydraulic mast along with some other drive system, I could use that whole hydraulic motor and pump from the Crown Wave on that 24 volt system. At first I thought it might be easy to rip the hydraulic mast off the Crown Wave and use that sort of like weld it onto an electric pallet jack. The Crown RT series has power steering so that you can stand on the unit and drive around with it. I'm still not sure if it would be more work or less work to try to modify an electric pallet jack. You could use the forks, sort of like we use the forks on a forklift to set the bed down on since the pick point is over its footprint and then just slide out and gently drop the bed onto the concrete floor. The hydraulic mass would have to mount to the side and then have a boom or something sticking out over so the rigging pick point is over the center of the footprint and then you have an unobstructed path between the operator and the point where they're 
grabbing their bed. I'm not sure what type of steering you'd want. At first I thought about something sort of like robotic, like mechanum wheels. It's attractive because you could move it in many different directions and get around easily and quickly, sort of joystick steering. But from what I've read, you may not have the traction that you need with that for something industrial like this. Although I have seen it on a forklift, but you know, it was just a video on YouTube. An alternative to that would be Omni wheels, which I think perhaps have better traction. But again, you would have to deal with the whole programming, controls, robotics, all this kind of stuff that complicates things and stuff that I don't know anything about. The simplest option seems to be tank type steering. So you'd have two drive wheels and then on the other end, two casters. And then your drive wheels go forward and reversed with like potentiometer or some kind of rheostat of speed control. And that would be easy to use for operators and intuitive, just like zero turns. If anything, you wanna have more torque and horsepower than necessary. The Crown Wave has little DC motors. It may be partially because the DC motors are older and the magnets are bad now, but it doesn't have enough torque to try to turn when it's at a dead stop. You have to start moving to get it to start turning. Perhaps rounded face casters rather than flat casters could help with this as well. I'd like the lift capacity to be somewhere around 1,200 pounds. With the Crown Wave, you can lift up 300 pound bed sections easy, but it can only start to lift drive sections, which were, are around 1,100 pounds. I'm not sure if it has a pressure overload or something on the hydraulics. The cherry on top would be to have a way where you could pick up pallets from the side and move them around so you don't have to jump to a forklift to move pallets around. But all the pallets that come from conveyor manufacturers are two by four pallets, so there's only like an inch and a half below the pallet to pick it up from the side, which won't work with your electric pallet jacks. That may be some dream in the sky that isn't possible with the parameters of keeping it maybe like five foot long and 30 inches wide. My weakness is design on computer software. So I haven't used Fusion 360 at all and I can just do simple stuff in AutoCAD to work some things out, but usually I'm building something, just got into my mind and building it as I go and making sketches. I know I need to get better at that and take the time to learn Fusion 360. Like there's so many different places, of course, that pop up as soon as you look up 24 volt DC motors. Not many that have brakes on them. A lot of them just have a small gearbox on them. Two pretty good challenges I can think of with keeping a super low clearance. If you are gonna have a tank drive system in the back and swivels at the front with low clearance, it's hard to find really heavy duty swivel casters. Electric pallet jacks get away with this by having the drive actually change directions to where it needs to drive. And then all you have to have is rollers at the fork end, which is easy to get them super small for that low clearance. And then the second challenge would be to have some kind of way so that when you're picking those beds back up off the floor so they don't get hung up at the tip or the ramp or whatever you have at the front of your lift because your pick point is over the footprint of the lift. When you're designing something like this, I don't think you can always find exactly what you need on the market to buy, but anything that you can find to buy I think would be a lot cheaper to buy something like a drive system with controls or a hydraulic mast or anything like that, rather than having to design it and make it yourself, it would take a lot more time and effort making mistakes. While doing different Googling and just searching for stuff, I found a company that actually makes tank-like steering. So you'd have actually four casters on the unit and then the two drive wheels in the middle but they would only do stuff up to like two miles an hour or something like that. Looked at vertical drive wheels, drive casters, thought about ripping a drive system off of an electric pallet jack because they can move like 6,000 pounds at six to nine miles an hour. I looked at DC gear motors on Automation Direct because they have stuff that's super affordable, but another 24 volt DC gear motors have brakes on them. Of course, Baldor is a good name that you would want to go to. I was looking at Worldwide Electric because 
they have really affordable motors and gearboxes and I'm set up directly with them. Their 24 volt DC motors don't have a way of mounting a brake on the back end, but they told me that Dings has a double C-face brake. So the brake would actually mount on the front of the DC motor between the motor and the reducer. I'm not sure if Stearns has a brake like that. I'm still really in the novice idea planning stage. So I assume that maybe something I said just triggered something in your mind, maybe gave you some breakthrough idea that I haven't thought of. Uh, maybe I'm going about things all in the wrong way. I mean, look at what I did with my first gantry crane ideas. Those were terrible ideas. Don't want to have to push around something by hand. And the electric winches were deathly slow. You'd much rather pick a bed up and hurt your back than have to use that thing. Just so slow and annoying. Couldn't use any of these because you have to move an arm to steer with. Here, these ones like have power steering. You'd have to be able to reach your bed you're rigging up though. Same with these, an arm to move. PC series, GPC, RT series. This is actually four drive wheels that also have a motor to turn them so that they drive in a certain direction. frame here. Here's some idea with a large diameter soft rubber or foam faced wheel or roller so that it picks up and rolls over the top of that. Here's a pivot point here. Here's I guess an idea with a belt wrapped around the end and just the belt would fold up as it pulls upward. I don't know. Of course, this would, you'd have to see how this worked. This would pivot up. This would, uh, the bed section that's six and a half inches by one and a half inch C channel would go underneath this little bracket and then it would fold up like a hinge as it raises up. I'm not sure if it would work because when it gets halfway up, would it end up tearing up your easy logic components here or uh, cause some other issues with the different stages that it would look like as it's going from this position laying down to up. Here's the RT4000 series specifications for here's the PR4500 series specifications by Crown.